What we're doing here, we're building a nation, but we got to repent from our sins first. That's right. We got to get right with God. We got to get, exactly. But that's not, but not by taking a bath, not by getting baptized in some water. Mental, yes, a mental clean, a brainwashing by the word of God. That's right. But we got to leave off from sin. Give me first, uh, no, give me Isaiah 511. Give me Isaiah 511. Now, Elijah, you say you believe in God, right? And you say his love is what? Keeping his commandments and his laws and his statutes, right? Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. What does that mean, Elijah? Nope. Read it again. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. A strong drink is what? An alcoholic, right? When you follow after strong drink early in the morning, guess what happens? You are an alcoholic. That's what God is saying. Because that becomes your idol. That becomes your God. Right. Read it again. Woe unto them. Woe means destruction, death, disease. That's what that means, Elijah. Read it again. Hold on, Elijah. Read it. Woe unto them. I know this, is, this sounds hard. This is medicine for our people. Right. This is the medicine that we need. Our older men, we need to hear this. Right. We need to get right. We need to get right. This is the medicine. But it's good for us. Read it again. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink that continue until night. That continue what? Until night. So the man that gets drunk from the early morning until late night, what happens? Till wine inflame them. Until wine inflames them. That's how they start getting uh, bruises on their face. They be tripping, falling, getting in the fight. They don't know what happened. Right. They, you understand? Wine inflames them. They get an uh, inflamed liver. Right? The body's struggling to process all the, the, uh, the, the chemicals and all that that you're putting in the body. So, what you got to say? Old Testament is written in Hebrew. I should have brought my... But this is written in English. I know. No. For us oh, to understand. I know. I'm going to read it in the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead, Elijah. Be dead teaching, but the Holy Spirit is mine. The New Testament is written, written in Greek. That's why I should have run my strong recording. Because the New Testament is written in Greek. So I had the strong recording just in Greek. Do you know how to speak hold, Greek? Hold, hold, no, no. It's Do you know just, how to speak Hebrew? Hold on, let me finish. I'll listen to you. Let me ask you a question. Listen, Do you know how to speak Greek? Nope. No. But now Do you know how to speak Hebrew? Let me, let me finish. Do you know how to speak Hebrew? Let me finish. Do you know how to speak Hebrew? Yes or no? I speak in tongues. Hold out, Adam. Hold out, Adam. I see you got an arrogant spirit. No one you understands you. you. Read this. You will the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Come on. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Come on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. You say you got the spirit on you, right? But the spirit of God can't dwell in a defiled body. Yeah. Read. My brother. If My any brother. man defile the temple of God. Because if you wake up early and drink strong drink. Come on. Him shall God destroy. God has a judgment for that, Elijah. What we're trying to do, Elijah, hold on. Slow down, Elijah. Elijah, I need you to slow down because your brother Robert's also trying to learn. Read it again. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. When we defile our temple. We put drugs. We, over, we drink excess wine or alcohol. That is an abuse to the body. God says, there's judgment for that. Right. God will destroy you for that. Right. You, you understand? God loans you this body. Right. This body is led to you. So now give me Psalms 19 verse 3. Now think about this. Robert, think about this. My brother just said he speaks in tongues. And he did some gibberish that my, my, my eight-month-old my eight says. My eight-month-old says. He says that to me. That's what he just did. Read this. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 3. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Read that again. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Because the word of God was given to every nation on earth in their proper tongue, in their proper language. Right. So what is the tongue that they, the church is speaking? Is that something that we are to understand or are we supposed to speak plain language? Read it again. There is no speech, no language. No, what? No language. No language. What is a language? English, Spanish, French, Dutch. 
That's languages of man. Right. Not having a having a having a. That's not a language. Right. That's Google guy. That's the what babies. That's how babies try to communicate that they're hungry. Bring it out. That's not a language of a man. Read it again. There is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. So the voice of God will be taught in what every language. You understand that? The voice of God will be taught, easy to be understood. Now give me Acts 2. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can understand his speech. Come on up. Come with this. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Come What's your this. language? Come with this. Come you say up. you got the tongue, right? Speak the language that you were speaking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the language you're speaking? That's 2 Corinthians. What That's is the Holy what, Spirit. What is the tongue? That's Paul's tongue. You speak in tongues. You speak in tongues. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. I rebuke every spirit right now in the name of Jesus. No one understands that's not a language. No one understands you. That's not a language. What is this? Come on. What is this? The book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 2. Verse 5. Verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Out of every nation. Come on. Verse 7. Verse 7. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Read. And how hear we, every man? In our own tongue. In our own what? In our own tongue. In our own language, Elijah. In their own language, Elijah. Not Hamela, Hazel, Hela. My eight-month-old son speaks like that. Right. And that usually means he's hungry and he's getting cranky. Right. Not Hamela, Hela. That's not a language of man. That's the language that you were taught in Christianity in the deception of your mind, my brother, thinking that you're doing something with God. God is not dealing with you in that tongue. Right. Don't no man understand that. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Unity.